Down with the current times, back to the past. Down with the current times, back to the past. Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. I'm appalled to how things are today with social media and political correctness, so I went on strike to protest for a return to how things were in the 90s and 2000s. Nobody's on my side yet for some reason, but just give it time. Squid on Strike is the episode where Spongebob and Squidward go on strike when Mr. Krabs starts to charge them for the vital necessities that are required for them to work. This episode aired on October 12, 2001 and is not the first episode where Spongebob gets fired from the Krusty Krab. That was episode 29, Karate Choppers from season 1. Now recently, we've talked about how Mr. Krabs has been getting more greedy to the point where his greed can make him a villain. The first time he was truly portrayed as a villain was episode 34, Arg, from season 1. But after that episode, he just seemed to be as greedy as he was in any other season 1 episode, like episode 13, Pickles. Recently, in episode 77, Jellyfish Hunter, this was his next villainous act and seemed to have been a bigger turning point. As starting there, he seems to become a bit more rude than you'd expect when it comes to how the characters are in the earlier seasons. Now here, since his actions are what causes Spongebob and Squidward to go on strike in the first place, let's see if this is his worst act of greed in the series yet, or if I'm just thinking too deep into this. Let's also watch this episode so we can know how to go on strike. So the episode starts up and Mr. Krabs is counting money when he realizes that profits are $3 down compared to last month. He starts to scold Squidward for giving change, Spongebob for tying his tie, and Squidward for breathing. Wow, if that's a thing, why didn't I get paid for breathing at my last job? Mr. Krabs gives out envelopes and Squidward thinks it's a paycheck until he sees a bill for things employees have to do now, like exist. Mr. Krabs says from now on, he'll charge Spongebob and Squidward whenever either of them are caught goofing off. Spongebob tries to give Mr. Krabs money from the bill that he didn't even open, but Squidward interfered telling Spongebob that this treatment was absolutely ridiculous and convinced him to go on strike so that way they can get the respect that they deserve for all their work. Spongebob was excited and not knowing what a strike is, told Mr. Krabs that they were going on strike, and as a result, he and Squidward got fired. Spongebob was left devastated, but Squidward says that that's why they have to go on strike, because Mr. Krabs treated the money better than them. Squidward assured Spongebob that he would have his job back soon. He started to teach Spongebob how to strike, the first step being to get rid of their uniforms. Spongebob tried to throw his hat on the ground, but Spongebob couldn't because he loved his hat too much, and Squidward got a ticket for littering. Later on, Squidward taught Spongebob about making picket signs, with a message protesting the Krusty Krab. Oh, that's my issue. I just used a piece of paper, not an actual sign. Spongebob made a sign with a positive expression, which made people want to go to the Krusty Krab, and they trampled Squidward. The next day, Spongebob tried protesting again, but a teenager came up asking him to sign his spatula. Spongebob agreed, but the teenager just wanted to take Spongebob's job, which he wasn't happy about. Squidward scolded Spongebob and told him to stand out of the way. While he did, Squidward gave a speech through a megaphone about how greedy Mr. Krabs is. Everybody got gradually more excited, but then they got hungry so they trampled Squidward into the Krusty Krab. Spongebob was impressed by Squidward's speech, but Mr. Krabs came up and teased them by saying their strike was actually good for the Krusty Krab. Spongebob got pissed and decided to stand up for Squidward by trying to repeat Squidward's speech and then stated that they would stay on strike until they get better treatment, even if it took forever. This word made Squidward terrified out of his mind, and imagine being on strike with Spongebob even when they were still old. Yeah, Squidward. Hey, at least Spongebob's voice is less high-pitched now. Squidward decided to beg Mr. Krabs for his job back, but then Mr. Krabs arrived at Squidward's house to beg him and Spongebob to come back to work because the teenagers were ruining the Krusty Krab. After hearing this, Squidward decided to make an agreement with Mr. Krabs. Meanwhile, Spongebob couldn't stop thinking about Squidward's speech and rushed down to the Krusty Krab to actually destroy it in the way Squidward described in his speech earlier. The next morning, Squidward and Mr. Krabs came to a good deal, but Squidward was terrified upon seeing that Spongebob had taken his speech to heart. 
Mr. Krabs sees that the Krusty Krab was destroyed, falls apart, and said SpongeBob and Squidward will work for him forever to pay the damages. SpongeBob was delighted, and Squidward was horrified. One eternity later. They still work there as skeletons, and the episode ends. I think they can quit now if any of them are dead. So that was Squid on Strike, and this is an iconic episode. I have a lot of fond memories with this one. I always loved scenes like when Squidward rips Spongebob's face off the door and parts of Spongebob were left there, the gag when Squidward pulls underwear out of the envelope, and pretty much all the protest speeches in this episode. I remember when I was a freshman in college, there was a brief strike that lasted for two days, and I saw a post online where some of the people at the school did a variation of Spongebob's iconic speech. I forget what they said, but the fact that college people made a protest similar to what Spongebob did is just cool. There's a lot of awesome scenes throughout the episode that aren't just a funny single line or gag. I like all the scenes of Squidward teaching Spongebob how to strike. They're all so funny, especially when Spongebob makes the picket sign and fence. I love when Squidward screams at Spongebob through a megaphone whenever he was bad with the picket signs. I like the visuals of the Krusty Krab being completely destroyed and how Mr. Krabs takes forever to notice it. All of the main characters here are pretty dynamic and have their own arcs. Spongebob was a bit of a wimp who does give it to commands a little too easily, as evident when he just willingly gives Mr. Krabs money even though what Mr. Krabs was doing was unwarranted. Then Squidward teaches him how to strike, because going on strike can improve their working conditions and be good for all parties involved. While Spongebob doesn't do the best job at following Squidward's instruction throughout any point in the episode, he finally does get fed up with Mr. Krabs in the second half of the episode when he starts teasing Squidward for being trampled, showing that he has started to stand up for himself more. Squidward learns to make sure to know what he's trying to protest because Spongebob took his speech literally and ended up destroying the Krusty Krab. Squidward never intended for that to happen and the strike didn't quite end the way he had hoped for. Mr. Krabs learns that it's important to treat his employees nicely. He decided to charge them for anything he can think of, fires them when they try to go on strike, and replaces them with teenagers. As the episode goes on, he experiences the consequences of his actions as the teenagers weren't doing very well at their jobs. The next day, he actually does agree to terms to make things better for Spongebob and Squidward. Of course, it's ruined by Spongebob taking things too far, and he ended up thinking it was a scheme all along. Which of course wasn't true, but the fact that he still agreed to make things better for his employees was still a good character moment for him. And speaking of Mr. Krabs, let's go back to what I said earlier. Since Mr. Krabs has started to go downhill a little bit a couple episodes ago, I wondered if maybe there was truly no going back by this point. However, after watching this episode, I don't think it's that bad. Sure, he does charge them for the things that employees need to do in order to do their jobs. All six of them. And yes, Squidward's bill alone is $21. But instead of that, he could have used their whole paycheck for whenever they were quote unquote goofing off. And sure, he does fire Spongebob and Squidward when he learns of their strike. But in my opinion, if Mr. Krabs found out that they were going on strike after they started going on strike, he probably still would have fired them anyway. And in the past, things were shown to go horribly wrong even if just one of his employees wasn't working there. For example, in Pickles, when Spongebob was home on mental rest, Swiver was left to do the grill, but he wasn't good at cooking at this point in the show and burnt everything. So I feel even if he didn't hire the teenagers while Spongebob and Squidward were on strike, the sh** would have hit the fan anyway and he would learn to treat his employees better. And he does agree to some terms as well. If this episode came out at any point starting with season 6, he would have relapsed by the end of the story even if the Krusty Krab didn't get destroyed. The worst part is definitely at the beginning when he charges them for existing and chewing. Something like this is required for the story to happen, yes, but there are definitely better ways to get them to go on strike. Like if he forces them to work a 24 hour shift and never go home, or pays them even less than he already did. That's still a low bar. So I feel Mr. Krabs isn't too bad here. He does learn to give his employees better working conditions. Before the moment is ruined, that is. And moving beyond that, there's a lot of great physical moments in this episode. Like these. As previously stated, I love Squidward's speech. I wish I had a megaphone so I could make speeches like that. 
I also like that this episode teaches that good working conditions are important for employees and that going on strike is a good way to get the word across, which is why people do it in real life. I think this episode is pretty good for its humor, the character arcs, and the messages it teaches. Nothing short of a great episode. But since we're in season 2, are you even surprised? Squid on Strike is an incredibly good episode. It's very funny, it's paced well, it has good morals and character arcs, you have to see it. But re-watching that episode made me realize why nobody was taking my protest seriously. I only have this piece of paper, so I need to make a sign. I don't have any wood, so this gardening tool will have to do. Down with the current times, back to the past. Down with the current times, back to the past. Some people thought I had a weapon and called the cops on me, so I need to lay low for a while.